second update for the day is weight maintenance. I'm working on developing possibly uh, the Tannis diet. So I have the Tannis diet and the Tannis diet with PMS modifications. I'm thinking of a third, the Tannis diet for maintenance. And that might take a long time to figure out. It might not. I hope it does not, but it is like a, if I'm looking at multiple weeks of maintenance to see if it's successful or not. That could be a while. Um, like I think it took me two, it took me over two years to develop the Tannis diet with PMS modifications. So that's what I mean by it could take a while is like, it could take years, literally. Um, but it's something I'm working on and I've been doing maintenance in the last three days I did, uh, so this is a pandemic weight maintenance currently. Um, and, uh, I did three days trying to find my limit of limit finding for a splurge day on like just maintenance. And so the first day, Friday, 10 March, 2023, I did full exercise. So approximately two hours of exercise which was 30 minutes of rowing, arm straining, arm strength training, ab strength training, and then 49 minutes of elliptical. Um, my calories were 3,960. I got my estimation wrong. I think it was yesterday. I said 3,800. Um, and then Saturday, 11 March, 2023, I did full exercise. So 45 minutes rowing, arm strength training, ab strength training, 49 minutes of elliptical. And I did 4,580 calories which I overestimated that yesterday. I said it was like 4,600. And then yesterday, Sunday, 12 March, 2023, I did 54 minutes of picking up peanut shells and I did 4,730 calories. I think that's, this. so this last one is a good example of a limit day. Uh, not full exercise, how many calories can I eat without it feeling horrible? Uh, I def it was definitely a limit. I was like, this is really pushing it by the end of the day for the 4,730 calories. Um, but the picking up peanut shells felt, felt really good. So my, I did track my exercise. The quality of the exercise was higher. So it means I was getting, I, ha I had a little bit of a food high, um, so to speak. I don't know if binging before a race in sports actually is considered cheating, like a form of doping. Um, that is something <laughs> that deserves, uh, transparency from uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency and other sports that say they monitor doping. Uh, binging and purging uh, is bulimia. Just binging is binging, um, but there's some people who drink a bunch of caffeine and they know caffeine speeds their system up so they swim faster. Technically that's, it's, it's doping, but is it a banned state substance? I don't know. Um, some American swimmers are very pronounced about they love their drug of choice, caffeine and Coca-Cola for them right before a race. Right? Okay, so it's not a clean swim, technically, because it's not them, it's the caffeine doing the time. <laughs> um, right, so, but um, I have a question about that. About, in, okay, so caffeine, but it's not a banned substance currently, might be, back actingly. How about food? <laughs> if a person eats too much, how do we set the limits? So I'm very concerned about this as somebody whose personal best time in the one mile run is 4 minutes, 41.29 seconds. I did that when I was 30 years old this year, 2023. And then my 50 yard backstroke, 30 years old this year, 2023, 29.94 seconds and 50 yard backstroke. For both, I, well, okay. For one, I ran with a Russian flag around me because there's currently a ban in place by World Athletics against Russians. And my, I made my Andre and my F. Johnny very proud. I ran with a Russian flag so that they wouldn't count my times because they don't count Russia as a real country in sporting competitions for World Athletics. So when I was running my time in competition, I had my Russia flag and I was like, I'm running for Russia so that they didn't count the times, right? Um, for World Athletics, it still counts in my body, right? Um, if somebody <laughs> in my body, if somebody runs or swims the time, there's no taking it back. The body knows what the body did, right? And the Russian knows what I did and they were like, ooh, good hands. And so I had a Russia flag and so I held on my Russia flag when I ran. Um, and I, I, I also, I also made my, uh, I made my Leon and my Kyle so proud they even slapped my booty after the race. Okay, so um, I've been doing good and I achieved those times while I've been on maintenance. Okay, so my my concern over like if I'm not just maintaining my weight and eating maintenance calories, like, that's not cheating, right? Like I'm not binging. It's just like, okay, but I do have concerns over stuff like that, especially when Today, after my, um, you know, potentially a new limit day, um, or developing a limit day, I tied my at least season best 
this year on my uh, elliptical wor workout, only I did so with lower resistance. What does that mean? It means I was faster and it had an output higher or on the same as before, but I went faster to get there instead of more resistance to get there. Um, so <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like going, maintenance is looking like a miracle for me right now. I'm dropping time in swimming. I'm dropping time in running and I'm dropping, I'm like going faster, harder, <laughs> in time my like calories burned all-time high on my elliptical or season best but it might have actually been my all-time high kind of thing um so like there's just like okay I do have concerns over like when if at all if slash when eating a bunch of food can be considered doping and actually have times disqualified in sports <laughs> So that's my update is my maintenance has been going amazing and I gave on 10 March 2023 I gave myself till the end of the month I'm like at, at least you know two to three approximately weeks I guess 22 days inclusive um is a or is it tw yeah 22 days inclusive including 10 and tw 31 March 2023 um 20 days to kind of work on an experiment on my weight mate Reg regulation in the form of maintenance so it's going really well it's going shockingly well like I'm talking like my fastest times in history for myself in the one mile run and 50 yard backstroke so short course yards not long course yards <laughs> so it's going great um so those are my pandemic updates uh kind of kind of happy and uh like I guess the second one happy and the first one like mind-bogglingly clarifying in some ways <laughs>